because first of all, she's a very likable person. She's very well respected, and overall, she has been very friendly, very uh, to China. I would say very um, not so harsh on China over the years. And more specifically, I think she made two progress, two areas of progress. Number one, she delivered uh, a clear message of general principle, which Chinese side appreciates very much. That is, the U.S. administration is not to seek conflict, rather a fair competition with China. And second, um, uh, she establishes uh, a sequence of mechanisms uh, for better communication down the road. For example, hotline, telephone calls, or even periodically uh, routinely scheduled uh, meetings between the two policy teams uh, on both sides, at least on economic issues. So overall, I, yes, I agree with your point that she is a very, uh, very much preferred person than Brinken, uh, Secretary Brinken, a few weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, no doubt she is considered the sort of voice of reason and having a sort of more moderate attitude within the Biden administration as far as China is concerned. It really looked like, uh, Dal Kui, when we were heading into this meeting, that China was going to basically use the measure of success of these negotiations dependent on whether they were able to convince the U.S. side to talk about reducing these trade tariffs. Do you have any idea of where they got with those talks and if they they didn't get anything from the U.S. side. Um, is it too early to actually tell or gauge the success of Yellen's meeting in China? I think the Chinese side get a very hint that the U.S. side is considering uh, somehow, somehow uh, some, in some way to, uh, to reduce, to mitigate or to taper, taper off the uh, tariff imposed by the former administration. Uh, even though all things depends on the uh, political environment in Washington, D.C., because the, uh, the presidential election is coming. But the Chinese side, I think, get a very good uh, indication that the U.S. side is willing to consider tapering off the tariff uh, in order partly to reduce uh, U.S. Uh, inflation right now. 